Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, I, I'm hoping this is going to film good and that I'm not too far from the camera, but I wanted a wide, to be kind of wide so you guys can see everything. Okay, what this little quick, easy, but really fun tutorial is about how to make um, pocket folders and also, um, what is it called? Everyone's making those... Um, those stuffed envelopes where they're taking the envelopes and they're putting just a bunch of goodies in them and sending the envelopes um, out to like crafty friends. Well, this is a good way to make those. Also, um, it's a good way to use any type of file folder. And we all have these file folders we've been buying from Dollar Tree. I love these. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these. I'm going to show you what these, po these um, pocket folders are. But a lot of times we just keep collecting them and not doing anything with them because... I don't know, it gets kind of boring just to throw things in them or use them for your filing cabinet. They're too pretty for that. So I'm going to show you guys how we can use them. And also, with these pocket folders, you can use them for the stuffed envelopes. Like I said, where you stuff a bunch of goodies in it and give it to a crafty friend. Or you can put um, different of your own things, scraps in them. Um, you just have a nice envelope to store little things in your craft room or around your house. Okay, so we're going to use the ones from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Now these ones I made from, um, these ones right here I made from fi regular file folders, just plain old regular file folders, but I did mixed media on them. I did a painted background. Um, this is a really cool stencil. Isn't that stencil cool? Cafe Paris, number Rue Saint. Oh my God. And then this is uh, something I decoupaged on. I love this egg, whole egg thing from, um, Pinterest. And anyway, so you do that and then you open it up and then there's a little pocket right there. Isn't that cute, you guys? Let me put it down here so you guys can see the whole thing. And this is a little pocket right here, so you can put stuff in it. And then, there we go. So you could you could stuff this full of goodies. You could um, stuff it full of goodies. You can um, uh, do stuff your own stuff, you know, your own things in there. So I'll just show you how that design looks there. Not pretty. And then I designed it this way. And on the back, I did that. Okay, but since these are already have a beautiful decor on them, we're not going to paint them, of course. But I'm just showing you the ones I did before. Okay, so again, this was a regular file folder. So this is exactly what we're going to be making. Okay. Oh, this one, I made it like this. So I could have put another pocket here, but I didn't. But there's a pocket in the center, and then it folds. So it folds just like that. Okay, so that's that one. But we're not making that one today. We're just making the sim more simple ones. But they're not, they're not, they're, I think they're awesome. These are the kind I like more than that other one I just showed you. Isn't this mixed media technique cool? I should do this, this mixed media technique and how I did this one on film. Or I might have a video on these. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I think I have a video on this one, but I don't have a video on this one. So... And then you just open it up. And then right here is a little pocket. And then I have some lace in here. Some little fragments and pieces of stuff that, I don't know, that I was working with. And I have that in here. And we just... And the design on there is really pretty. I did a lot of mixed media there. Let me show you what the inside of that looks. There's that mixed media. Again, I use that Cafe Paris. These stencils are awesome. I got them at... Um, Tuesday morning, and then I got a new Paris one this year. So I have like four or five of those. And then, um, oh, I didn't finish up the back. Huh? Okay. Last one. Okay. Here's this one. I love this. This is a uh, Dina Wakely, I think. I, I'm not sure. I think it's a Dina Wakely state stencil on top of this, but I love this background. Isn't that pretty? So I need to do some of these mixed media techniques so you guys can see how I did them. So there's the opening there, and then let me bend it back so you guys can see, and then there's the pocket right there, and the glue, the tape is coming off here, because I didn't use very good tape. I, sometimes I tape them with uh, double stick tape, and sometimes I use hot glue. Today I'm going to use double stick tape, but if you want, you can also hot glue it. And then it's a pocket, and I have a bunch of stuff in here, like a bunch of tags in here, mixed media tags. So see how you can just, you could put stickers in here. You can make a bunch of these, and this is how you store your stickers. Okay, yeah, you guys, how cool would that be? Sticker storage. Oh my gosh, everything. Okay, so let me put all those aside. 
Hey, one other thing I want to show you guys. Just a second, I'm putting those away. One other thing I want to show you. Um, we're going to use these ones, but I want to show you a couple other ones I got. were so gorgeous, you guys. Um, and you get a pack of three of these at the Dollar Tree. I got these ones. Isn't that, aren't these beautiful? I got these at Target. So some of you guys got these ones at Target, too. This was like last year or maybe two years ago. So if you have some of these from Target that are really, really pretty like this, pull those out and make these. It'll be fabulous. And three came in a pack on these for like a buck. And I think I have some other flower ones also, I think. And then I got these ones. These are really cool looking. I got these um, at Target for, I don't know, two bucks? Yeah. And I got a lot of them. Like I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 12 of them. Look how cool those are. For people who like animal print, how cool would that be? And I have someone in mind this year that'll be getting a um, stuffed, a stuffed, uh, stuffed envelope from me, a stuffed pocket envelope from me with that. Okay. So anyway, I just want to give you the different ideas of how you can make these, but what we're going to, what we're going to use to make them today is the Dollar Tree ones. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, and this is a very quick thing, you guys, I know you guys don't get scared and turn off the film right now and think, oh my God, it's all this measurement. It's super easy, you guys. Okay, what I'm about to show you. I do highly suggest you guys to get a scoreboard if you don't have one. They're 15, they're like 20 bucks maybe. Use a coupon and you'll pay 10, 12, $13 for one. Okay, and a um, this little thing, it came with it. What is this called? A scorer, but there's a name for this. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you need to make some... Um, hinges okay because that's what's gonna you're gonna anyway you're gonna make some hinges and when i show you guys how to make these hinges you can use them in so many of your um of your projects so um so many times to make envelopes for your um oh what is it for your um junk journals okay or your scrapbooks or any of that kind of stuff but anyway every one inch you're gonna score and this is just to make the hinges okay and we don't need all these but um, what's nice about making a bunch of them is you have a bunch to um, just have handy. There we go. And you're just going on every one inch mark. So on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So then we're going to cut on the line here. This is one hinge and we're going to need two of these hinges. Okay, so then there we go. There's a hinge. Okay, so we're gonna cut out one more and then we'll put the rest of these aside and it'll be nice to have these when you're going to make another envelope or a pocket in your junk journals or for your junk journals. Okay, so now we have two hinges. All right, that's all we need. That's all we need. The scoreboard. Now we are going to use the scoreboard one more time. But I'm going to put it down for a second. Okay and put the hinges over there. All right, let's bring these here. All right, we need this to be straight across, so we're going to use our cutter, which I hope, yeah, I have it right here. I should buy another cutter. I never thought to buy two of these. I've always only had one, but I should buy two. So I can have one in this my art studio and one in my craft room. Okay, because right now I'm in my art studio. I'm um, just making sure you guys can see this. Make sure. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to cut off um, this whole thing so it's straight, like this tab. I want to cut this off and I want to cut that off. So here we go. So we're going to line this up so we just cut that off. Uh, there we go. If you don't have one of these, you can get out a ruler and some scissors so you make the straight line to cut that off. So if you don't have one, but again, this is another tool. You guys, that's the one thing. If you're going to invest anything, invest in your tools and your craft room. Again, this is what? $15, $16 with a coupon. You're going to spend 10 bucks on it. Well worth it. Okay. So now we want to cut off that little tab right there. What we're going for is just straight edges. Okay. We want straight edges. 
Okay. All right. So now we have straight edges. Um, do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to cut this off right here so the edge is straight there too. I could leave it, but eh. Let's cut it off. Okay. Put that at the bottom. Line it up again. Okay. All right. So now, again, now you see that there's a straight edge there. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a flap on here. So we need one side of this to do the flap, and the side we want is a side with the um, with the tab. Okay. So we need to divide this in half, and I'm just going to probably rip it in half. Yeah, should rip pretty good. Could put on your cutter and cut it, but should rip good. Oh, it's not ripping good. All right, I'm just going to use my scissors. You could also put it on your score and or on your cut or your cutting machine and cut it, but it's okay. There we go. It's off. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. We're going to use that other side. So for this whole thing, you use two file folders. Okay, so what we want to do is, um, yeah, the open end, let me show you. There's the open end. You want that part at the top. You're going to turn that over and you need to make sure you have the open end. And we're going to um, tape this on here. And you're going to need hot glue or tape that on there because this is going to be a flap. But t do a little test and see when you bend it where it's going to end up. And I like where it's going to end up at. Okay? So either use your hot glue or tape for this. In fact, let's do the fold right now because if we do the fold right now, then we'll know where the tape goes. And hopefully I'm in frame. Okay. So let's go ahead and do right now okay look how cute that is you guys I'm gonna come up really quick so you guys can get a better look isn't that cute and see look there's your there's your lid right there there's your your um your flap okay a nice long flap it looks fabulous but we need to turn it back over to the other side and tape it tape it down when I cut this, I got a tad bit crooked, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we can take this part away for, for a moment, that part, and just work with this and put some t double stick tape on here. And like I said, you can either use double stick tape or you can use, um, gosh darn it. I'm trying to look for the thing on here. Or you can use hot glue. And today I'm going to use double stick tape. Maybe. Okay, here we go. It's like, if I can find where it starts. And this is that double stick tape from um, Tuesday morning. It'll be the first time I've ever used it. So I don't know how good it is. But I've heard from a lot of other people that they liked it. So I'm like, cool. And I'll tell you one thing. It's the right damn price. Because you guys, I've been paying out the butt for double stick tape for years. So I've been stocking up. Every time I see it, I buy like, I don't know, five or six rolls, maybe more. Okay, so then let's just make sure that our double stick tape is nice and attached. Okay. And let's bring it up. Bam. And bam. Good. Okay. I have to say one thing. Using the tape is a lot just like not as messy as hot glue. Hot glue's not messy, but it can be. Um, did I just, what did I do happen right there? Just a second, guys, I have a little mark. Looking for an eraser. Not really sure how that happened. Okay. Okay, so, like I said, you need the open, the open-ended side and 
we're going to put that, line that up with the back here. And let's fold that over. And take your, what is this, you guys? Oh my God, everyone's yelling at me right now. And especially people who don't have one are like, what the hell is that? So I can go buy one. If you buy a uh, Martha Stewart scoreboard like I have, one of these will come with it. So, oh my God, I can't believe the name of that's not coming to me. If you don't have one of these um, to do like what I'm doing right now, you can use the back of a spoon and it will do the same thing. And you can really then seal or really um, press it down and make a nice crease on your envelope at the top. Go like this a lot to get your tape to really make sure it's good and attached. Okay, look, you have your thing attached now. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Love it. Okay, now the next thing we want to do for the pocket is we need to cut this down. We need to cut this down to about right here. So then you can put your stuff in it a little bit easier. Actually, let's save as much as we can. So let's just cut it off about right there. So you take your cutter again. Okay, and let's take off, take off an inch first and see what happens. Don't you guys like how I craft? Hey, I like how I do it. It leaves room for improv to improvise a little bit. Okay. And that's going to leave room to stuff things in there. Yeah, perfect. And you can still stuff a lot in there. Now, we need to attach your, for your, this is your pocket. You're going to stuff all your stuff in here. But if you were to glue this right down, it'll be, there won't be very much room to put a lot of stuff in here. So that's where the hinges come in. So you're going to take your hinges and let's measure... right here and I make whatever color matches my project and you know black is the base here so so then just trim it off right here at the top okay so that hinge matches and since we already measured that side we can just use this hinge as our next measurement right you don't have to go measure the other side just use that same hinge to measure your other hinge Okay, and I still save all these little hinges because these you can use for things too, like smaller envelopes. And these are great to use hinges to make envelopes, you guys, because then your envelopes can open up and you can put more stuff in them. Okay, so now we need to um, tape on our hinges onto this part, the pocket, okay? So we're going to open up the pocket and, oh, you know what? I actually, I need one more hinge. No, I don't. No, I don't. Just, just two. Okay, so we need to put double stick tape on both sides. And I put it uh, close to the closed end. The opened end of the hinge goes inside, of course, because that's it goes like that. So the closed end goes here, and of course the open end goes like that, so you can open your damn thing up. <laughs> okay, hopefully I'm not getting redundant. Okay, so again, let's put the double stick tape here. Aren't these, you guys, aren't these fabulous? You can make loaded envelopes. That's what they're called. A lot of people are making loaded envelopes right now. Loaded envelopes. And I'm definitely going to make loaded envelopes for Christmas for my friends. I'm doing loaded envelopes this year for Christmas for my friends. I'm, um, I'm into knitting. I'm going to knit them some really cool fingerless mitts with some art yarn um, decor on them. Um, and I might make some... Well, I not my. I'm gonna make some uh, of my. Uh, what do you call it? My mixed media. I just did a video on it. It's called Salvaged Art. It's a, definitely the time to think. Okay, now put your hinge on the other side over here, like that. It's definitely time for you to start thinking of like what you're gonna make for your crafty friends. Because usually, I'm, I usually have about ten people I send out gifts to. So you need stuff that's cool and easy. You need stuff that's cool, but then you need stuff that's easy because you make, you know, you have maybe 10 of them to do. Okay. Okay. So, let's do that. Take this tape off. Oh, I can't wait. 
I'm kind of, I'm doing this, and I have to go to the gym here in a minute, so I don't have time to make any more. But I'm going to uh, sit down tomorrow and just make a whole crap load of these. And I wish I could have found more of these file folders. You guys have all found, like, both kinds. There's another kind that are, like, <clears throat> I think more pastel-y, and they're very Paris and London, like these. And I want to find those so bad. But I can't find them. I, I found these, and I've bought three packs. And that's all I have found. Those things must have went quick. Let me check my camera. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, so now we got the, our hinges attached. Now I'm just going to bring it up like this. Make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing. So you just brought, you just now you brought, you brought your hinge up, you brought your pages up, and let's. Bone folder. That's what this is called. Oh my God. Words are coming to me little bit by little bit. Your bone folder. And you're just going to go like this just to really make sure that your tape and your um, hinges are all attached. Now I'm going to show you what we created on the inside. Okay. This is the flap of your thing. I'm just going to bend that back for a second because I want to show you. Now look at that. See? See the little black hinges in there? just hold it like that you can see them when I open it and see how much stuff now you can you can do a really nice stuffed envelope okay so that just makes it fab you less um, I need to trim ah, who cares it's for me okay so there that is here's your flap if you want what you can do with this if you don't want to have this just blank um, I wouldn't do mixed media too much on this because you could get your paint and stuff onto here, but you can take another one of these, like your the one that was left over, and if you want, you can um, go ahead and cover, cut this out and cover that top, and then you'll have that when they open it up, okay? This is for me, so I'm not going to do that. Plus, I, I, I probably want it because I want to make more of these, and I can make more of them if I don't do that, but if you're concerned about this just being white, um, you can also just uh, use your stencils, you guys, like in black. Oh my God, how cool would it be to take a pair of stencil and stencil that on top? Like, I'm going to show you guys maybe if I can find my pair of stencil quickly, which I probably can't. And I have tons of them and I probably can't find them. Yeah, I don't know exactly where they are, but they say like Paris Cafe with a bunch of cool designs and you could take black and totally stencil that on the inside. And that isn't too much paint that it'll get all over this, which would look really, really pretty. Or you can take some scrapbook paper and scrapbook paper this on the top too. Or like I said, you can go ahead and forfeit one of these, your other side, and um, cut that off and then tape that on. And then you'll have that. But isn't this fabulous, you guys? Oh my God. Look at this. For the stuffed envelopes to give, stuff these envelopes with all your goodies and give to your crafty friends for Christmas. Oh my gosh awesome or just have it for yourself for your craft room and be able to um store all kinds of stuff in there all kind of goodies so um you guys that is it i hope you guys like my little dollar tree stuffed envelope and um well it's not a stuffed envelope yet but my dollar tree pocket folders is what we're calling them out of the dollar tree folders and it's something to do with these and remember you guys if you get them you can um you can use regular file folders and kind of mix media or do whatever you want to those. You can buy other ones from like Target. Look how beautiful those are. And then I got these um, animal print ones from Target. So there's so many choices, you guys. And so now you know what to do with these. Like every time you see these at Target, at Dollar Tree, wherever, pick these up. But like I said, we use the Dollar Tree ones today. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Um, you can visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm really active on Instagram, and I'll friend you back. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!